What's up, people of the internet? My name is Nathan, and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. I'm going to do this weird voice, voice the entire episode. Just kidding. Um, in this episode of Ark Survival Evolved, we are going to be going on a journey back into hell itself, trying to look for, yet again, a blood stalker. Now, this is our third attempt at doing this, but this time I have come hella prepared, and if I lose, I... Honestly, I'm considering cheating in 7 million blood bags. Here, I have spent all morning grinding 417 blood bags. Um, I'm not going to bring my tools. I have them made here for when we get back. But I made them. I used them a bit to tame a raptor. We needed a new raptor. I tamed one. Problem solved. Nearly died trying. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I might take the pike. Just for some melee assistance. Um... And yeah, I say we just head out straight away. We don't dilly-dally, because I'm on a bit of a tight schedule here today. I gotta go for a uh, car ride in a bit for some important uh, grocery shopping. But the plan is head out, save the day. No, um, we're going to head out. We're going to try and get a blood stock for this episode. And if we can't do it, I give up on all hope, honestly. By the way, I've come up with a new thing. Uh, I said at the start of the series that I was going to um, never bring any dinos over to the next world. But I think since I want this series to actually progress and not me grinding for the whole time, we're going to do that. We're going to bring stuff with us when we go. Um, I think I might limit it to like one tame and some gear just so I can be set up. So for instance, like when I go onto the ice biome, which is next by the way, I plan on bringing, um, I was about to say healing. I plan on bringing fur clothes if I can get my hands on it, or at least bring some hide stuff and just make sure I'm fully kitted for the winter biome. And the same goes with the ocean. I've played the ocean a bit, not too much. I haven't tamed the dino in there. But the ocean's actually a pain, because the, in the ocean biome, um, you need to tame the dino in there. You live, It lives on the ocean, and it's a little buggy, and I don't know. I haven't tamed it, so I can't give me my full thing on it, but... Um, oh, no, that's what I wanted to say. The ocean biome's annoying. I've done the easy beginning part of it, but it's still annoying, because what it does is in the ocean biome, what it will do is there's no trees, and when they are trees, they're high up on these, like, hill dome things, and they're kind of annoying to get to. So in order to reach them, most of the time, you spawn on them, but I don't want to do that. I want to, like, and since flyers are disabled in this... Oh, is that because there's a rift there? We're not going to get the rift yet. We're on a tight schedule, remember? Okay. Bloodstalkers. Don't, don't yoink me until I tell you to yoink me, okay? Okay, so hopefully we find low levels. I'm not looking for a high level one. Um, apparently these blood bags should be enough. Apparently 300 is enough to tame a level 61 plus. Um, up until 140, but I'm a little, um, suspicious about that 140 trademark. So since our dino, we're, the limit that this server has for dino level is, I think, 105 or something. And it's a rare chance to get a 105. I might be wrong, it might be a little more or a little less. But, one Bloodstalker. All I asked for. A low-level Bloodstalker. Nothing, that's not going to get in my way. And it's not going to bug out. It's just going to grab me. It's going to suck all the blood bags. It's going to tame easily. Honestly, I'm really at this point hoping for like a level 12. I would say that that's what I'm looking for. Is a low level that will not completely annoy me. Just taming one of these things has been hard. We've spent countless episodes. Oh, I see one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 32. I'd be down to try a 32. Apparently, this is one of the most accurate sites. I'm going off of Dodo Dex's technologies. Hopefully, it doesn't lie to me. Wait, are there multiple? Wait, this looks familiar. Yeah, I wondered why. Stay here. So I was up there last. There's Widow.
So that's the blood stalker. Okay, got me. Whew, that scared me. Okay, so this is a bugged one. So this is a bugged one. I don't know how Widow got up there. Okay, so we got Blood Bag, Lucky Break, and Widow now all in the same spot. I think we'll continue with Lucky Break. And we'll look for another one that isn't that one. Because this one's kind of bugged. It would seem. We're looking for one that'll yoink, but slurp. You know, it won't, like, yoink and leave us there and rot. Come on. I don't think I asked for too much. So. Oh, that thing scared me. Um, we're not heading to, um, what is it? I don't think we're, we've head this far. But I think they spawn on the lower sides of the map, so. Yeah, I might climb this tree up here. I'm gonna search for one. Oh, there's two. But they're really high in the air. That's a 54. I don't want to tame a really high level. And that's stuck behind something, so I can't get a view on it. Got an itchy eyeball. Well, in a moment. Okay. Eyeball scratched. Okay. I think over there is the level 32 Bloodstalker that we keep trying to tame. To yeah. Oh! A level 12 next to the level 32. See, if I brought my crossbow, I could have tried to kill it. Okay. Are any of these a low level? I saw another one. 16. A male bloodstalker level 16 in this tree. How do I get over there and get yoinked by it before it kills me? Thought I saw another one. I don't really want to go through here and go to this one. Like, if it would grab me and pull me up, then yeah, this would be the one. But I don't think it has an aggro. Falling in this thing. Okay, I don't think we're gonna find any near here. See, I would love to get this one, but I don't think it'll hook and actually like hold on. It's just gonna hook me maybe and let go. I don't like that. Man, blood suckers are a pain. Like, when I did this with, uh, sword storms, it was not as hard. Oh! There are three here. I don't like the fact that there are three. That's kind of, uh, scary. What even are their levels? Yeah, no. I don't want to do this one. No. But I don't know how to get around here. I guess we have to go up here. Yeah, I don't want to mess with three. Because even if I get grabbed by one of them and they actually hold on, I still don't want to mess with um, mate boosted ones. And as you can tell, those guys have the heart, which means they were mate boosted. I don't want to mess with mate. Oh no, do I have to go through here? I'll go this way instead. I don't want to mess with three. But yeah, you don't want to mess with mate boosted things because I believe that also affects taming effectiveness. Because if you have a mate, you know, you don't want to leave them for some rando that's trying to tame you. Makes logical sense in my mind. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, still on the lookout for a Bloodstalker that's an okay level. And that'll scoop me up without any problems. Because most Bloodstalkers actually have problems. They're just really sad. Like they're broken. I don't know why. 
I mean, I still gotta give it to Ark. Genesis is still a ton of fun, but it, it has its flaws. But as I said in my hardcore world before I died, uh, what game doesn't have flaws? Someone posted in the comments, uh, Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 2. I don't think that's very true. I feel like still, even though it's... I mean, games that don't have flaws is strictly opinion-based. I mean, if you think it didn't have any problems, you enjoy that no problem life. But... Come on. Any blood stalkers that are alone and closer to the floor and that aren't broken and that aren't level higher than 60. I don't really want to tame a 50 or anything. I want to tame like a... A 30 I'd be okay with. A, um, a 20 I'd be really happy with. A 16 I'd also be very happy with. Okay, I think I'm going to get off just to save some fall damage from my boy. Lucky break. By the way, I named him Lucky Break for the fact that hopefully he'll be giving us a lucky break. You know, my good luck charm and all that jazz. Man, it is terrifying getting yoinked. Why couldn't they just make it like a passive noise? Like, you're getting yoinked in three, two, one, and then yoink me. Like, why Why do it so aggressively and being like, washonk, and then it just grabs it? That's scary. Ooh, this place is actually cool. I haven't seen this, not even with sword storms. That's cool. Man. Bloodstalkers, the bane of my existence. That's what I should title this video. Like, my man. Where are they? Who knew it'd be so hard to find blood sucking creatures? My gosh. I'm gonna try and head back this way. Come on. I think we're running right back to the three that were there. Oh no. We're running in a weird direction. Any blood stalkers? I mean, we're getting a good scenic route, but no blood stalkers. I think we're too far outland now. Gotta head more inland. That's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Hopefully we get yoinked off by a dino. It's a low level by a blood stalker. I'm honestly tempting to call this thing the worst thing I've ever gotten. Actually, I might even name it Problem Child. My gosh. Look at this species. It's just such a pain to deal with. Okay. Is that one? Alright, at this point I'm starting to see tentacles. Alright, come on. 
not messing around anymore. Give me a blood soccer. Is that one? I don't think so. No, this is a pterodon. Got an itchy uh, leg. Right, come on. Blood soccer, blood soccer, blood soccer. This is like the perfect spot. Just hit me with a blood soccer. Man, and now I'm stuck on this tree. Okay. Really? Nothing? Man. It's literally a problem species, like. No wonder the species no one likes. Like. Man, Titan Bow, he's scared to do that. Thought you were a spider. See, look, there's another clump of three. Level 9, a level 60, and a level 12. Why can't it just be one? I'm not gonna head this way. I'm just gonna be let off into some wrong direction. Three blood stalkers in one spot. Good levels too, besides the level sixty. I need to get to a weird area. <gasps> I see one. Thirty two. Wait. Is that one of the three? Oh, there's one. But it's on the ground, so it will not tame like that. Man, my gosh, these blood suckers are a pain. That one's way too far. He'd be a per- Whoa! That's not even the one I thought. I'm not taming an 83. You're mad. It's 
so hard to find one that's not good enough level, and even if you find it, there's other, like, things you have to take into account. Will it grab me? Will it pull me up there? Will it be enough blood? Because they're weirdos, and they drink blood, like, bro. Stop being vampires. Get a healthy diet of, like, food. One blood stalker. It's all I need. Of course, like, this would be a prime spot to get one, and guess what? There's none here. Like, man, shut up. Get some stamina, get some stamina, get some stamina. One. Level 35? What's this one? Level 51. Okay. We got one here, boys and girls. But we have a problem. We need to be grabbed by a level 30 and not the other one. Okay, I grabbed by the other one, but it broke. Which means he's a broken one. If you're gonna do the suction thing, can you do it without scaring the ever-living shit out of me? Come on. Don't break. Okay. So, this is a level 50-something. So I have done my math, 400 blood bags should be well over enough for at least a level 140. So if this isn't it, man, I actually don't know what to do. Like at this point, this is the best we get. And if we can't tame this sucker alone, I have no idea. Fingers crossed, men and women. Otherwise, I might give up on this whole blood stalker thing. This is our best attempt. Come on, my man. Or female, I don't, I'm not assuming. By the way, if we die here, um, I don't think I'll rebuild this, because, like my man, it's 400 blood bags. Come on. Like, be nice to me. So far, he's only, con or they have only consumed 100 blood bags. This can take apparently up to approximately uh, four minutes total. Oh, lucky break is dying. That sucks. Lucky break is getting stabbed by a bloodthirster or bloodstalker. Hey, if I can tame him in time, I can kill the bloodstalker before he can actually kill lucky break. Nah, lucky break died. Poor lucky break, my man. Come on, don't let Lucky Breaks 
death be in vain and all the other raptors I've killed for you. Be my friend. Yeah, wild male bloodstalker level 51. My gosh, 51. This is not a level I wanted, but you know what, you went to my guy instead. See, I can't see the taming bar, which is annoying. I wish it showed you, so I know I'm not in the dark here. We're halfway pa we're way past half the blood bag is gone. They're supposed to be able to tame a level 61 with two taming multiplier, which is what I have, with um about 300 blood bags, a level 61. So this is a 51. So 300 should be enough for it. But I got 400, by the way, just to be sure. I was like on a hundred percent for taming one. And if it doesn't work, I don't know anymore. Man, I'm nervous. Because this thing is not supposed to be drinking this much. I might even increase the taming multiplier if it keeps going like this. It is so nerve-wracking. Man, team. It should have been tamed. My gosh. Man. I'll be right back. I want to. I want to get a cheat code ready to get blood. I want to see. Okay, so I got a cheat code ready so that we can check Will it be enough if not I'm Man, how many do you need? So we spawned in a hundred blood bags so far What is this monster? What are you? That's 500 blood bags technically. doing something wrong. What is your percent? What are you? This would be 600 blood bags. Um, are you mad? How many blood bet? I'm a, I'm honestly at this point curious just of how many blood bags this stupid thing takes. Because I'm trying to make progress on these videos, and if you're telling me it's going to take a thousand blood bags, I'm not sitting. I was here for at least an hour gathering 400. Because I read it'd be enough. Is this garbage? No, that's nearly three hundred extra blood bags. Okay, one second. I'm gonna pause the video. We'll be back when uh, I either get it to stop sucking and we tame it, or I give up because I gotta go. Okay, so it finally tamed. It actually wasn't that much longer after it. 
but it's I checked the Dodo decks again. So if I were to tame a level 51 Bloodstalker with no multipliers at all, it would have only taken around 500, 600 blood bags. So uh, we can't actually get an accurate... Actually, we kind of can. So I spun in a ton at the end here. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So he drank about 1,000 blood bags. For what? Literally for what? Like, man, you're not that cool. Now I completely forgot how to use one of these things. It's been that long. There we go. Okay, I'm getting it back. So this is a Bloodstalker. Now they're not worth your time apparently because they are garbage stupid little things that does just want blood for the rest of eternity. So if you ever want to tame one, don't plan on it. It is such a hard tame and it's... Wait. Did I see Widow? No? We'll have to go back for them another time. But man, we finally tamed one. I don't know how I'm going to reimburse this as cheating, because this is cheating, and I don't like to cheat. By the way, yeah, this is like a whole other layer above. But yeah, I don't like to cheat, but man, I was not about to sit here for another eight hours getting more blood bags. Like, that's such a pain. By the way, now that he's tamed, they only drink or they eat meat now. I don't get how come when they're tamed, they eat meat, but then when they're not tamed, they don't, like... Logic would state otherwise, but it's okay. We're not going to question the game logic. So, these are the things that I spent, uh, like, four episodes trying to get. Uh, the reason I wanted one is, I don't know, because they're fast, so traveling, and we can explore the map pretty quickly. But, like, my gosh, was this thing a pain to get, and I don't know if I ever will do it again. Because, like, my... Oh, yeah, by the way, if you, uh, do stuff, you can, like, stick to stuff, and it's pretty cool. Where is my home, though? Oh, there it is. But yeah, this is the Bloodstalker. Like, cool creature, but my gosh. So it tells you what's enemy, what's too far or to attack, and what is ally being in green. Now, if you hit C... Oh, no, not C is just his basic attack. Right click, you quick grapple. You actually, you throw two grapples. You see where those uh, yellow dots are? When you right click, those are two things that you sling yourself with. Um, spacebar midair will, um, cancel your web, so when you're midair, and if you hold shift, by the way, you go faster midair. Um, so it's spacebar to cancel. Uh, another thing I've noticed is if you have a web like this and you can't spacebar to cancel it, you can hit X, and that'll also cancel it. Stupid little things. No, 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 come back, come back, come back. Come, 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 come. But, yeah, so that's with the Bloodstalkers. Next, if you left-click a unit like this, he cannot run. And if you hold left-click, you'll reel him in, and you'll do that cool thing with the um, other thing where you just suck their blood. Now, it's not very handy. It reduces stamina. Um, and when you're out of stamina, it will end up not killing it. Um, also, you can, I noticed, use your left click as well if you want to double bang this thing and completely murder it. Um, are blood suckers worth the blood? Apparently not. Uh, when me and Swordstorms did it, um, our dinos took the mounts, like you saw, and them taking the mounts seems to also take, uh, it also up to taming effectiveness, and that was pretty cool and all. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to name this guy. Leave me comments, suggestions, and if you don't come up with a good one, I'll come up with something funny. Next on the list, by the way, of things you can do, if you hold spacebar, you can jump really high. Um, and if you hold shift, I believe, while on a wall, it might be spacebar. Wait, what, what button is it for the stupid stick? It actually might be nothing. One, one sec, one sec. We'll go over here to this tree. We'll cancel it. It's spacebar to latch on. As you can see, I'm latched on. You don't have to hold it. You just have to click it. And if you click it again, you jump off. So, by the way, another thing. They walk on water. They do. Not, they like. They float on water. It's kind of weird. It's not like a regular mount that uh, would run on water or like swim. Now, they do pretty good damage considering uh, they take no stamina to run. I mean, um, not to run. But, uh, oh, this is a pretty good one. And I didn't even notice. 
They take no stamina to swing at all, which makes them great tame things. By the way, this you, this right-click ability, you can kind of catapult yourself forward, and it's so much fun. I'm excited to use this on our travels and adventures for the next few episodes, um, until we leave this place or it dies, because I'm going to have to first. Gotta level it a bit. Get a pretty high level. Come up with a name down below. I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, I don't know how to reimburse for the blood bags. It's just time, really, that was annoying me. And I just couldn't be bothered to play another episode. You think uh, 30 metal is good? I think 30 metal, considering it is for, um, it's technically 60 metal ore smelted, plus that also takes time. I think 30 metal ores is good enough for me. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button down below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. I post every single day. I'm sick of Bloodstalkers. If you are too, hit the like button. Comment. Join the Discord. I have something planned in the Discord group, I think, in a few weeks. I have, like, a cool idea. So join it. Uh, the more members, the merrier. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace, peace, peace.